Hello, welcome to Aeroshift channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to calculate the stress intensity factors using Salome Mecca 2019 and Quadaster. The example that I am going to show you is a typical or a representative representation of a, a aircraft fuselage skin. Uh, but in this case, I have modeled it using a plane stress element. Um, so it's a plate subjected to a tensile loading with a central crack. So only quarter plate is modeled with the symmetrical boundary conditions as shown in this figure, which uh, you can get it from any standard reference books. Um, and I'm going to show you the code, code as code and uh, the graphical user interface of Salamameca 2019 as to how to set up uh, the crack tip on the crack line and to see the result uh, or how output the result. So the Codaster code is, is this. So uh, it is similar to any linear static uh, analysis uh, code, but the only thing is an addition of additional command here uh, using the fracture and fatigue module of the uh, Codaster or within the Salomon Mecca 2019. I'll go to uh, Salomon Mecca now and show you the different uh, uh, buttons in there. So I'll run through different commands uh, as to how I have set up the model. So the mesh is a simple representation of the 2D uh, plate with the different groups as shown in the previous figure here. So I'll just run over the groups again. So I have defined the groups of uh, nodes for the loaded edge. Uh, groups for the symmetrical X and Y conditions and I have defined a crack uh, edge as well as a crack tip node which will be used for the for extracting the stress intensity factor. Within the Salamameca, so that's the command for the uh, reading the mesh. Uh, the similar, the model is um, a D plan which is a plane stress model stress element sorry uh, the material properties of uh, typical aluminium are chosen I have assigned the material properties to the elements uh, within the group plate which is nothing but all the elements and the loading boundary conditions I have defined is I have defined uh, symmetrical boundary conditions X and Y and I have applied uh, uh, load per node here which I have calculated so that the applied stress is uh, 100 megapascals and I have some I have chosen a linear static analysis uh, post processing requesting for uh, stresses and uh, the important bit that I'm going to show you now which is uh, unique to this particular tutorial is the defining the crack so the way the crack is defined here is the factor and pretty module here I'm going to Defi font face here. I'll delete that one. I'll rather show you the one that is already existing. So I click and edit that. So you choose the mess and uh, you define the crack tip node here. So that's the crack tip node. And you choose the, because I'm using a symmetrical model, so I use symmetry S. And that's the group of uh, um, elements for the crack tip. So that's the crack tip itself that um, is defined uh, using that edge there. Uh, that is all required to define the crack. So once you define the crack, then what you do is you use uh, post K1, K2 or stress uh, intensity factor calculation expression here to extra request for a calculation. So within this, uh, uh, define the crack which is which we want and the result uh, from which the displacement and forces are used to calculate the stress intensity factor. So, which is in this case the uh, the wrestling here, which is the previous uh, linear analysis and calculation. So, that's all you need to define, and uh, uh, the results that are calculated within this can be output using the input table here. So, I have output it to uh, a text file, the table value that the K1, K2, K3 are calculated to a text file. And I have, I have requested for the displacement and the stresses to be written to a standard um, med file, as you can see here. 
So I have run the model and I got the results. So I'll just show you the results uh, uh, as to how they look like. So before I go to the displacements and the stresses, so I want to show you the output that we get through the um, improv table option. So here, that is a text file there. So if I go to my the output text file, so it produces the K1, K2 values and the G value, which is uh, strain and injury release rate. So in this case, the K1 is calculated as uh, 749. So let us see how that compares with the uh, analytical calculation. So the analytical solution of the problem is shown here. So for an applied stress of 100 megapascal and a half crack length of 20 millimeters with a width, I would calculate the width correction factor uh, for the given geometry from any standard handbook and I can calculate the stress intensity factor. So by analytical calculation, the value would be 805. Uh, but from the um, Codaster, the value calculated is 749. Obviously, the differences are probably due to the, uh, the refinement of the element. So probably if I refine the model more close to the crack tip, we might get uh, better results. And now I'll show you the displacement and the stress prof this plot as to how we obtain. So this is a displacement plot um, for the same armed file as you can see here. And uh, I also want to show you the uh, stress output. So if I go to the armed file, I can click on post process. The post processing output within the code aster can be seen here uh, plotting the displacements. So the elongation of the plate is uh, 0.35 millimeters. The analytical calculation of uh, the extract um, for this plate would be approximately 0.357, so which is pretty accurate. Um, now we look at the, uh, the stresses. Uh, the stresses are, uh, the maximum stresses at least, are really not uh, useful here because of the singularity of the crack tip. Uh, so, but uh, as you can see, the global stresses are close to 100 megapascal, which is what we apply, and um, the Van Moises are stresses are very high. So, the further you refine the model, you would expect to see the higher stresses. So, the main aspect of the tutorial was to show how to calculate the stress intensity factor, which I have shown you within uh, in the, using the two in, in both the Cost of Code Aster as well as the Salem Mecca 2019. Um, so I hope uh, this tutorial is uh, was helpful to you and uh, you learned something from it. Thanks for watching.